You might have heard about the early medieval kingdom of Great Moravia, or Velka Morava. But looking on the map of Europe, you can't find any such country. Why is that? Great Moravia was a kingdom of Western Slavs in early Middle Ages. Although short-lived, it achieved a remarkable record in culture and political influence of its time. Its name derives from the river upon which it started, the Morava River. Let's search for this river first. The Morava is a northern tributary into the Danube. The Danube is the longest river of Europe. The capital cities of Austria and Slovakia are situated on the Danube. Vienna and Bratislava. Between these two capitals, the Morava River joins the Danube. Nowadays, the river starts in the northeast of Czechia. then forms the borderline between Czechia and Slovakia and finally between Austria and Slovakia before its confluence with the Danube under the ancient rock of Devin Castle. For complete information, it should be noted that there are also rivers called Morava further south in Serbia. Their confluence is called Velika Morava, Great Morava. But let's get back to the Morava of Central Europe. The river has given its name to the region on its banks. In the 9th century, the historical core of a future kingdom was formed. In this period, the ruler of the Morava region reportedly expelled the ruler of the Nitra region. and united the two. This was the beginning of the Great Moravian Kingdom. Its cultural heyday was under the second king, Rostislav. Rostislav invited a cultural mission from the Byzantine Empire. You can learn more about this in another of my vlogs. You'll find the link in the description below. In this way, Rostislav lay the foundation for a literary and ecclesiastical independence of his kingdom.
Great Moravia reached its widest territorial expanse under the third ruler, Sventovuk. His name is nowadays pronounced Svetopluk in Slovak and Svatopluk in Czech. He annexed regions of neighboring Western Slavic tribes. Bohemia of the Czechs, Lusatia, Lesser Poland, the Blatinisko or Balaton region of what is now northwestern Hungary, and perhaps the rest of the present day Slovakia. Svantopolk even achieved the international recognition by being officially titled king. However, discrepancies among Svantopolk's sons, German political interventions, and the invasion of Magyars from the east caused the demise of the short-lived Great Moravian Empire. The annexed Slavic domains separated and the historical core of Great Moravia got divided. Between the two nascent new states of Central Europe the Hungarian Kingdom, ruled by a predominantly Magyar dynasty, and the Duchy of Bohemia. The Hungarian Kingdom continued to use the originally Great Moravian symbol, which contained a double Byzantian cross on three hills. The western part of Great Moravia, the core situated on the Morava River, gave the name to the medieval Margraviate of Moravia. The Margraviate of Moravia gradually became an integral part of the Czech Kingdom. Moravia became predominantly Czechophonic with a substantial German element. Moravia did retain its identity, though. The title of Margrave of Moravia, originally independent, subsequently became part of the titles held by the rulers of the Habsburg monarchy. However, in the 20th century, the Moravian identity became more blurred. And nowadays there is no such official territory that would bear the name of Moravia. Its basic territory has been divided into several regions of Czechia. Nevertheless, many Moravians retain their identity with the traditional centers of Moravian power, the political seat of Brno and the ecclesiastical seat of Olomouc. Moravia is also proud of its unique folklore traditions, beautiful folk songs, and the celebrations of Ride of the Kings, Yizda Kralu, done in early summer in several villages in eastern Moravia. The Moravian revivalist movement is active and attempts at a more official recognition of Moravia as a distinct historical land within the EU. Among the great Moravian figures of international renown, we could mention 
Leoš Janáček, Gregor Mendl, Maria Ebna von Eschenbach and Tomáš Garik Masaryk. Leoš Janáček is a world famous composer. Gregor Mendel was the founder of genetics. Maria Ebner von Eschenbach wrote in German and is considered one of the greatest writers in neighboring Austria. Tomáš Garik Masaryk was the founder of Czechoslovakia and its first president. He actually belongs to all three peoples as he was born and raised along the borderline between Slovakia and Moravia. He studied in Brno and Vienna and died as the president in the former royal castle of Hradčany in Prague. And we mustn't forget Alphonse Mucha, perhaps the greatest Moravian ambassador of art. Since he reached his first fame in Paris as the painter for Sarah Bernhardt in her Théâtre de la Renaissance, his name is known worldwide in the French pronunciation as Mucha, but the original version of his name is Mucha.